All right, well, this Hispanic Heritage Month, we are highlighting the history of Latinos and their part in history, helping blacks escape slavery. Fox 26's Domley Keith is in Galveston with the story. Typically, when we think of the history of slavery here in Texas, we think of Juneteenth in Galveston. But I'm speaking with a couple of historians today who say we need to think of that history even further south because decades before Juneteenth, Hispanics were helping enslaved blacks escape to Mexico. The Mexican government, government welcomed uh, fugitive slaves. Documents dating back beyond the 1800s here in the Galveston and Texas History Center that historians Samuel Collins III and Dr. Juan Galvan are showing me give a new outlook on the Underground Railroad, which most equate to the system that helped slaves escape north to freedom. We often think about Canada, but enslaved people in Texas actually ran south uh, to Mexico because Mexico had outlawed uh, slavery. Mm -hmm. Although not everyone describes the help Hispanics gave as work on the railroad. Because when you say underground railroad, that implies uh, a network as sophisticated as the one to Canada. But Dr. Galvan says research shows Hispanic abolitionists were well organized as many came together to help thousands of enslaved blacks in Texas make it to freedom in Mexico. Well, there were many marriages between uh, Mexican men and African American enslaved women. Part of the story is that people were not just waiting to be rescued. Collins says some slaves saved for years to pay to be taken to Mexico. When Texas was still Mexican territory, it was illegal to have slaves here. So slave owners began drafting contracts like this. The papers would claim the people listed, including some as young as three years old, agreed to work for them for life. For the term of 99 years to learn the art in mystery of forming and planting. So friends to the South stepped in. In 1857, the government of Mexico amends the Constitution now declaring that any former slave who steps on Mexican territory is now a Mexican citizen and therefore a free person. Once slaves escaped to Mexico, many made good lives, including a couple of Sam Houston's former slaves. One of them became a barber and opened a barber shop in Matamoros, Mexico. Another one became an officer in the Mexican army. And these are just a few of the books available on the topic. The historians are encouraging you to head to the library and get to know the information for yourself. In Galveston, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.